Good morning, everybody. My name is Timothy Trespass, and I am a targeted individual. Um, good morning. I, I wanted to make this video today, um, A, to say hello to everybody that watches, and B, to talk about our move. We have moved yet again, and um, we're staying at this nice house on... Um, What's the matter, Maxie? Oh. We're staying at a nice house. Um, look at that, it looks nice. There's my computer, and here's the bed, and the stuff down there, and my shirts he made, and everything. Anyway, and we live right across the street. I don't know if you can see it. Right across the street from the church, and the taco area, and everything else. Um, anyway, the move was pretty successful. We didn't break too much stuff. The worst thing that happened <laughs> was we moved in and I put the loft bed up, which is like, you know, the most tiring thing in the world to move everything in your life and then move it in and then put it together the first night. Stupidly, uh, my laptop, one of my laptops, <laughs> I put on the edge of the bed and I hadn't made the shelf and all the other stuff and I kicked it off of the bed and smashed it into... <laughs> wow. Uh, I've never actually smashed a laptop before. This is my first one, so... Welcome to the club. Um, thank goodness it was one that I bought at the flea market for $40. Um, unfortunately, it was one of the only ones that worked well. Uh, almost all the computers we have here uh, have been found on the street and then you know, put back into working order by yours truly. Um, I still have this horrible infection in my nose. I don't know if you can see it with this thing, but it's really... It's really painful and it's spreading to the outside. I'm using ammonium lactate. I'm using, uh, uh, you know, antibiotic cream and it doesn't seem to do much. Um, what did I want to say? Uh, there was some reason. Anyway, oh yeah, 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 thank you. Okay, my brain is, is, is really a wreck after many years of, of watchers, MK, Ultra, LSD-like, hypnotic drugs, uh, Morgellons syndrome, and um, yeah, you can see I have a few little lesions around on my skin and my face and and this is for moving. Uh, we have these, what we call bugs, but we don't think they're actually alive because nothing we have used will kill them. Uh, you, they feel like little flitty things. They flit all over your body, under your clothes, and flit, 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 flit. And it feels like little fleas jumping all over you. Um, and sometimes they go, oh, and they like go in, and they make these little lesions, and they hurt, and it feels like shit is wiggling around under your skin. So this feels like, if they're not bugs, which they could well be some type of micro flea or mite or aphid or, you know, something very tiny, because you can't see these with the naked eye or with a powerful magnifying glass. I haven't been able to see them at all. Um, and the thing is that they do weird stuff, like, like, you know, you're here, you're doing your thing, and all bugs jumping all over you, then all of a sudden they start to... And... You know, part of me is like, okay, if they're bugs, then they're alive, and we should be able to kill them. And we've tried, uh, I bought a, a $100 professional propane-powered fogger, insect fogger, which fogs uh, pyrethrins and other other stuff in a, in, a, in a naphtha base, makes this fog, and we'd fog. The, the fire department would come, this makes so much fog. Literally, literally like three or four times they came, they're like, oh yeah, it's you guys fogging out the bugs. They wouldn't die. We tried ammonia. I put that through the fogger. Bleach. Put that through the fogger. We tried, you know, bug sprays and 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 pesticide. You name it. We tried camphor and and um, lavender. And some of this stuff seemed to help because they did 
hit us with a, a bunch of insects and these things that may or may not be insects. We don't know. It would be possible to dump a bunch of nano material around, little Morgellons organism, and we believe these Morgellons things may be frequency dependent. We know they're ferromagnetic. We know they react to magnetism, so they would react to uh, electron coupling, an electron beam weapon, magnetic coupling, you know. You could make them jump around by giving them the right frequency, the right energy, some sort of static field or something in between. Anyway, we don't know if these things are alive or dead, and they seem to come out of nowhere. You know, we, we went through about a year in the other place where it was down to a minimum, and, you know, I'd have a few, and uh, I just tried not to complain, because literally over the past three or four years, I've had to train myself to not go insane when there's bugs jumping around in my crotch, in my anus, in my ears, in my mouth, in my nose, in my eyes, in my scalp, and under my shirt, and basically all over you. And I'll tell you something, it's really, really, really hard not to jump around and freak out and feel all... Think about it, bugs crawling under your skin, crawling on your skin, jumping on your skin. I mean, just the thought of this is enough to make most people cringe and, you know, try living with it. Um, anyway, this is one of the crazy things about the Morgellons and the MK Ultra New World Order mind control torture that we've been going through is these crazy combination of insects and non-life that seems alive. Um, anybody who's had more gallons probably knows about this crazy stuff, this, the nematode things. And we don't know whether what comes out of you, what goes into you. It seems to do both. Um, and we can't figure out why they're putting creatures in hydrogel, if they're actually putting full creatures, you know, little, little eggs of creatures, or baby creatures in these hydrogels and, and spraying them out of the plants, or whether... They're actually just using genetic code, and this stuff is somehow stringing it together because it is nano assembling, self assembling, self replicating. Anyway, this is my babble for the morning. Uh, we're still alive, we've moved, uh, we live across from a church, we pray a lot. Uh, we still have the high frequency. Oh, that was the other thing I wanted to tell you about is there was a couple of days when we first moved in you know, the high frequency was there but they like either turned it down or turned it off or didn't get a lock or whatever it was but there was a couple of days on and off where I felt like they had shut this thing off like the electromagnetic torture was not you know I know they were still connected with the remote neuromonitoring but the, the torture, the stuff that makes you feel like death like you're stuck like you can't think you can't do you can't move you're anxious you're freaked out you're stressed out you're angry you're sad you're, all that crap they put you through stopped for a while the feelings of sickness like i'm dying every night and my brain is being cooked and my body is on fire and all that shit stopped for a couple of days the loss of motivation the lack of ability to do anything stopped for a couple of days and i was grateful you know but when they turned it back on again you realize you know because you you lose hope i lost hope i was like this is gonna be this way forever and ever until i die you know and you get like a little respite for a few minutes and yes it feels really good and you realize how fucking normal your life would be had they not done this to you for all these years and and how all these sicknesses and shit are caused by this crap they're doing to you because it seems to go away when they stop um that's just my observation. And then they turned it back up hardcore, you know, really strong, and now it's back to the same old shit with the lines under the eyes and the not sleeping. Oh, I slept like a baby uh, those couple of days. I slept fine. I didn't need to take special medicine to sleep. Well, uh, you know, now we're getting more of these things all over us, and we're fighting and battling this crazy shit. And so, anyway, God bless all of you who are suffering. We hope we survive the New World Order. This is a horrendous crime against all of humanity. And the quicker we wake up and realize what's really going on and start talking about it and telling the world, the sooner we're going to have some idea of what to do. Good luck.